Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the OnFocus event inside JavaScript. Um, so essentially, as the name suggests, the OnFocus event is going to fire off whenever an element has focus. Um, so for example, we're going to create an input element um, right now and then we're going to transfer the data from the input element into a separate div element when the input element has focus. Alright, so let's get started. Um, inside the HTML for this document, it looks like this right now. Let's just create a new div below the title with an ID of message. Alright. Um, we can just add some styles to this div real quick. Looks like the message, and we can say um, a width of 200px, heading of 20px, um, a border. Okay and also a margin bottom of, once again, 20px. So we have this div right now. If I was to save this and refresh, we can see this right now. So let's create a new input element below this div and then transfer the data from the input element into this div when it has focus. All right, so um, let's just create a new input element below this div um, with an ID of my input. Okay, so it's input type of text an ID of my input. So now, um, let's just uh, go inside the JavaScript. You know what, let's just first wrap this form, so wrap this um, input into a form. That way, we can get some, uh, just some CSS that I've actually set up. So, if I give it a class of form and put this inside here, I've got some CSS that makes the input look a bit nicer. So, I can now just save this and refresh, and we get this right here. Alright, so, back inside here, let's get a reference to both the message and the input element inside JavaScript. So, I can create a new constant down here, um, given, uh, give it a name of message, equal to document.getElementById, give it the, um, the ID of message, so we have this message box inside the JavaScript. I can make another constant, this time, for the input element, so const my input equals document.getElementById, we're going to pass in here uh, my input. Alright, so now we have these two elements inside the JavaScript. We can add the event listener, the focus event listener, to the input element. So, I can say my input dot add event listener. We're going to add the focus event. Alright, and pass in a function as the callback. Alright. So, as normal, this function is going to fire off when the event fires off. So, um, the this keyword inside here is going to refer to the actual input element. So, I can console.log this, I can save this and refresh the browser, and then gain focus on the input element, press on here, and we get input type text, so we get that log to the console. Alright, so obviously, if you were using a shorthand um, function, like that for example, then this is going to be the window. Okay, so I can save and refresh this one and now we get this as the window object instead due to the way that the, um, the shorthand function works. Alright, so back to the regular JavaScript function. We can now go back inside here and we can say message dot text content is equal to my input dot value. So just a um, just an example here of the focus event. So I can save this and refresh the browser. And finally, if I was to type in some data here, we can see that we obviously get no data inside the message box just yet. If I was to type decode inside here and then lose focus and then regain focus, boom, we get decode inside the message box. So that is the basics of the focus event inside JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.